Hey guys, I'm back, and I have a new invention today. Basically what this is, is it's a timer that works solely with redstone that uh, measures the time between two pulses accurate to 0.1 seconds. And um, it's pretty cool, so I'll just demonstrate how it works here. So we're going to hit the start button, and then we're going to hit the stop button, which will cut off the circuit. You can go over here to our classy display board, and we can see that this took a total of... 1.6 seconds for me to press the two buttons. So, um, pretty nice, pretty easy to use. Uh, each one of these is just 0.1 seconds, or one tick, because e uh, a repeater's minimum setting is one tick. And it's a standard piston display board, as you can see here. So, um, go over a few more features. Um, that's a reset button, by the way. It resets all the R's and R latches. Basically, uh, Currently, it can only go up to 4.0 seconds, and that's because, um, well, you could expand it, but I was sort of sick of wiring, so I just set it to 4.0 seconds, and if I ever need this for anything um, for more than 4 seconds, or if anyone who's using this needs for more than 4 seconds, they're just going to have to extend it by themselves. So um, I'll basically go over how it works here, and um, a few more things. Okay. So uh, what happens here is you're going to start, you're going to send the pulse to this first repeater right here. It's going to send it through this block. After it goes through that block, it's it's going to trip the first RSNR latch. And that's going to, uh, so that's going to store that it's been 0.1 seconds. Let's go through the next repeater, de delaying it by another 0.1 seconds. Trip the next RSNR latch, and so on. But uh, when you want to stop the time, what you have to do is you hit this button here. That retracts all the pistons at the same time, so that it, uh, so the pulse stops, and it can't flip any more of the R's nor latches. So to accomplish uh, flipping, stopping the pulse with stopping uh, all the pistons at the same time, we have an instant repeater right here. I don't really understand how it works because it's not mine, but uh, basically what happens is it, uh, when it's when its input is toggled from a 1 to 0, its output toggles from 1 to 0 instantly. So if um, if I just go back over here, this is the last repeater in the line. It could You could extend more that way, but I didn't because I'm lazy. If we hit the stop button again, you'll see that that retracts at exactly the same time. So that's pretty nice. Um, and then we have every Arsenal latch is, uh, is just attached to a piston in the display board over here. One thing that's a little bit annoying that I can demonstrate right here is that um, because of the way I wired it, let's just wait. Alright, that should be good. Yeah, you'll see that the top two rows uh, for three and four seconds, or three and four seconds are right there, will um, go from right to left instead of left to right. And that's just because uh, the circuit's going to travel. The pulse, sorry, the pulse is going to travel down this way in the circuit, and it's going to come back around this way. And I didn't feel like building bridges to cross all the wires over, so um, shouldn't be too much of an issue. So I guess that about wraps it up. Um, looks pretty useless, but I actually have some ideas for this, so that's nice. And one more thing, um, so we can differentiate between 4.0 seconds and uh, simply running over the time limit, we have this light right here that's going to flip when this warning RSNOR latch goes on and that comes on at the very end of the circuit right there. So that's so we can have readings of 4.0 seconds and not have to worry about wondering whether or not we went over the timer's limit. So uh, I guess that's about it. Um, took me a while to build so thanks for watching and um, I'll post a, a world file download in the comments and that's all. So, um, see you later.